important to understand the challenges that we face when we want to talk about dual goals of economic and environmental sustainability. Everywhere in the world's a little bit different. And so a solution to achieve both environmental and economic sustainability needs to recognize the fact that everywhere in the world's a little bit different. Too often, however, in broader uh, public policy discourse, uh, a single solution is often promoted. And that's ultimately what leads to its failure, is the lack of emphasis by governments on R&D. The idea that technology plays a significant part in any solution that we envision should be a given. Um, I don't really think there's any debate about that. But how we actually see technology developed and adopted is, is an area that there's still a lot of uncertainty around and a lot of discourse and debate around. Energy poverty is a lack of access to modern energy services and understanding what drives it's incredibly important if you want to understand how to fix it. I often tell my students it's great to have a cause and be against something but if you're going to stand up and be against something, be against poverty because it is debilitating. So what ought we be doing? if we're really concerned about environmental degradation and, and environmental sustainability. If we're gonna recognize that fossil fuels are part of an economically sustainable outcome, then environmental sustainability ought to focus on how do we make that as clean as possible. Again, an R&D question. Get into things like carbon capture, get into things like energy efficiency, get into things like talking about water like we were earlier, water treatment technologies because as you're producing oil and gas, you produce water too. So there's a lot of interesting, very challenging questions that are engineering, economic, political science questions that need to be answered. Best cure for high prices is high prices. So why is that? Well, because if you're in a high price regime, what does that do? It stimulates responses on multiple margins. It's gonna stimulate a response for consumers to emphasize efficiency. Why? Well, because you wanna reduce the cost of an energy service. There's a lot of really interesting problems to solve across the energy space, across the energy landscape, and we ought to be addressing them all, because we have to. So one of the ways to do that, again, coming back to what I said at the very beginning, R and D. So what does that mean? We've gotta figure out a way to do these things in a more sustainable way. It's just that simple. The other option is to stop growing. You tell me which one's more realistic. It's probably not stop growing. At some point, adaptation needs to be a very real part of the conversation because of everything I just said. You can do things locally to mitigate, but if you're talking about issues that are problems of the global commons, the marginal benefit is negligible. But the cost borne by the local community is not, which means it's not sustainable politically. 